guys, it's Alicia and welcome back to my YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to be talking about our family drone, which we got for Christmas from my uncle. And I know you guys are probably thinking, you got this for Christmas and you're just now making a video about this. Aren't you like five and a half months late? And I know this video is long overdue, but I had to make sure the weather was right so I could get some killer drone footage, which I sorta of did in a way. But anyway, this is a X5C Gyroscope Explorer's Remote Controlled Quadcopter. I'm looking off the little instruction manual because I don't think I would get that right without looking down at this thing. And anyway, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to show you what it looks like, how the basic controls work, and then I'm going to show you some footage from when I went to the park to get some drone footage and the little mishap I had at the park. But anyways, let's just get on to the video. Now, the first thing you want to do is turn the drone on. And when you turn it on, you'll see these flashing lights, which means it's not yet connected to the controller. So then you will go and turn the controller on. And then with the left joystick, push up and then push down. You will hear a beeping sound and you can check to see if the lights are no longer flashing. And if that's the case, that means it has been successfully connected. To record your drone video, on the right side of the left joystick, push down until you hear a beeping sound, and then you can fly your drone and then push up to stop the video. To rotate the drone, push the left joystick in either the left or the right direction to rotate it to the left or the right. And the problem with this feature is that if the drone ends up landing with the red lights facing you, then that means that whatever you do, it will go in the opposite direction. So if you push to go to the right, it'll go to the left because you're on the wrong side of the drone. In this video, I was trying to demonstrate the drone's tilting ability, which happens when you move the right joystick, but the drone naturally wants to fly higher than the camera view, and so it was really hard trying to keep the drone at a low altitude and demonstrate the tilting, so hopefully you get the idea. The battery normally lasts for about a half hour, and then once the battery is dead, the lights will start blinking like this to indicate that it's time to charge your battery. Now, I would not consider myself an experienced drone flyer, but as you saw from that short instructional video, I do know the basic controls of the drone. And so when I went to the park yesterday, I was fairly confident that I was going to come back with some pretty killer drone footage. Well, I got to the park, I made sure that the green drone lights were facing me, and I brought the drone up into the air. And it was getting super high up there, and I was so happy because I was just thinking of how awesome the footage must be. But then it started heading towards some trees. And in my panic, instead of using this joystick to move it left and right, I accidentally moved this one. And so it rotated the drone so that the red lights were facing me. And so when the red lights face you, that means that the controls are opposite. So when I was trying to make it go right, it was actually just going straight toward the trees and got stuck in a super big tree. of the story is don't fly your drone super close to trees. Make sure you are a very, very safe distance away from the trees because even if this isn't your first time flying a drone, there still is the possibility of you getting it stuck in a tree. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to see more of my videos, click the information button. Remember to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button. Subscribe button!